Hi everyone, Choppy from Next FPV. A lot of people have been asking how do I connect my Fat Shark head tracker goggles to my Turnigy 9XR. Normally, what comes in the kit is a Futaba to PS2 connector. The PS2 connector connects into the head tracker, uh, or goggles, I should say. The head tracker itself has to be installed. This is the module that goes inside the head um, headset and you install that, that gives you head tracking capability. Now normally you plug that Futaba system into the Futaba plug in the back. We've found it doesn't work without heavily modif well not heavily, without modifying the Futaba plug. We don't want to do that at the moment. It voids warranty and it's not supported. The other point about modifying the cable to a JR cable style cable is that you can also use the same cable and the same head tracker not only your 9XR but other units such as the FR Sky Tyrannus which only uses the JR plug so you can use it on different platforms. The way we modify the cable is by cutting the Futaba plug off. There's a black and white wire that you need to connect to the JR style plug. This is a three and a half millimeter stereo plug. You connect the black connect, uh, wire to the center pin. In this case it's the smallest connector on the solder, plug, um, solder point and the white goes actually to the shield or the ground side. So here's the wires going to the Futaba, cut off, I don't need that anymore, and connect it to the 3.5mm plug. So let's just try this out to demonstrate. I'll plug the PS2 connector into the headset with the JR plug you have to power with a battery you hear that it beeps you plug into the JR port and turn it on and then you enable the head tracking system so you get tilt and yaw disable that by hitting the head tracker again and there we go and it zeroes to the center position. We'll show you how to set up your transmitter for that. Okay we'll cut it there. Hitting the center button as you can see it tilts and it yaws. That is reflected on the screen yawing and tilting get into that we have to scroll across select that model by scrolling across again go into the mixer field scroll down to the channels that you want in our case we want channel 7 and 8 and we scroll across there we go and enter you can see there it's selected the source of PPM 7 you can skip scrolling across and uh, just select 7 for channel 7 there exit out of that we want channel 8 also to be PPM 8 I'll demonstrate that to you now and as you can see it says PPM 8 exit out of that and you'll see that you'll have 7 and 8 You'll also get a manual with the Dominator headsets. It tells you that you should follow the um, beeps. We'll show you that a bit closer. And as you can see, there's a details. Uh, you should wait for six beeps if you want channel seven and eight to occur on the receiver. It's not quite true. I'll give you a demonstration now. I'll zero that. And if I disconnect the battery, there's no headset tracker, 
I hit the head tracker button, plug that in. You'll hear one beep, two, and then three, then four, and then a long beep, which is not like in the manual. What I found, seven and eight comes out when you press after three and two beeps. And you can see we'll press HT to enable it. And you get, oops. Your and tilt. However, if you tilt too much, it goes back to the zero, thinking that you've put the headset down. And that's why it's gone back to the zero. Let's hit that again. And just move it in the natural position that a head might move. And if I quickly put it down, it goes back to center. That's a safety just in case.